Bevel Skin, is it really the best skincare solution for us black men? Let's find out. YouTube, what it do, it's your boy B. Lou, and today I'm back again with another men's grooming video. If you guys haven't checked out my other men's grooming video, I did a video on how to get waves fast for beginners about, what, maybe like a year or so ago. Um, I'll have it linked up in the cards, so go ahead and check that one out if you're kind of interested in that. But today, we're going to be talking about skincare. So today with me, I got the Bevel skincare line. Um, right here, this is the face wash, the toner in the middle, and then the moisturizing face gel. So if you guys don't know Bevel, it's actually a black owned company owned by Tristan Walker. And they actually started with shaving kits, like shaving razors. Um, I'm sure you guys even heard about the Bevel blade. Yeah, that's this company. Oh, and fellas, they definitely have a beard line too. So if you want to see that, go ahead and like and comment. And I'll definitely make that video for you guys. All right, so getting straight into it, what I do like about the packaging, it's simple, it's clean. They even got some, you know, some pictures of different black men on the side of the boxes. Actually, that's the owner right there. And yeah, so it's like, it's just simple, clean, minimal kind of packaging. But also, on the back, they kind of give you instructions on like when and how to use it. All right, so right here I have the face wash and on the back it says dermatologist tested uh, used in the morning and at night. Helps cleanse, revitalize, and hydrate skin for a fresher, healthier appearance. And on the back it even has a little picture of like a sun and moon telling you, you know, when you should be using this product. All right, so the direction says massage a dime size amount onto wet face and neck, rinse with warm water. And then at night, it has uh, more directions, and it says, for a deeper cleanse, follow up with our 10% glycolic acid exfoliating toner at night. Also on the front of the box right here, it says, for sensitive skin. So I guess that's a plus. All right, so moving on to the toner. On the back, it says, use at night twice a week. So this one, you're not using every day. It says, 10% glycolic acid helps avoid ingrown hairs and exfoliates dead skin. So that's pretty good for us black men because if you know anything about your hairs, uh, we have curlier textures. So once the hair grows, it tends to curl beneath the skin rather than, you know, protruding through the skin, which causes those ingrown hairs. So if this can kind of help alleviate some of that, definitely a plus. For the direction, it says saturate cotton pad and apply to clean face and neck. Once dry, use Bevel's moisturizing face gel. So... On to step three. So step three is going to be the moisturizing face gel. And on the back it says, go ahead and use in the morning and at night. Hydrating gel formula reduces dryness and oiliness. Directions are massage a dime size amount into the face and neck. Apply after using the face wash or the 10% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. So obviously, like I said before, you're not gonna be using this toner every single day. So on the days that you don't use the toner, you can go ahead and use the face moisturizer, the with the gel, uh, right after the face wash. So on their website, I actually got those three products together in like a bundle starter kit kind of thing. But I also decided to go ahead and pick up this spot corrector, which isn't a part of that bundle, but I think as of now, for like Black Friday and Christmas and stuff like that, I think they're actually packaging all of this together. So if you want to go ahead and, you know, cop this line, I will have the link in the description of that bundle. So this is the spot corrector right here. And um, basically, you only use this one at night. It says vitamin C infused correcting serum helps even skin tone and fight hyperpigmentation. Uh, directions apply a drop size amount to problem areas and allow it to dry. So real quick, this is what they look like uh, outside of their box. They also have, you know, the directions and everything like that on the back as well, just in case if you want to throw the box away, lose the box, whatever. Um, it gives you that all that stuff I just read right on the back. This is the toner, and this is the moisturizing face gel. So right off the bat, when I got these products, um, I'm already a sucker for neutral colors and nice packaging. So obviously, this was a big plus. I don't know if it matters to you guys, but it's just like aesthetically pleasing just to see like this nice little setup on your counter. Because, you know, as men, we don't really want to have a whole bunch of products laying around. So just having these three on the counter in like the corner or something, pretty simple, straightforward. Oh yeah, and same goes for the spot corrector. And it also has instructions on the back. 
All right, so let me go ahead and get into a little bit of pros and cons of this skincare line. Pro number one, they are made from all natural ingredients. If you've ever used any of the cheap dollar store face moisturizers, face washes, stuff like that, you already know that most of the time they're gonna go ahead and dry out your skin and even make you break out even more. So it's like, it doesn't even matter that they're so cheap because you're not buying it again if it's damaging your skin. And with this line, I never really had that problem. I've been using it every day for like the past like six months plus, and I've never had any issues with, you know, irritation in my skin. It does say it's for sensitive skin, and I do have sensitive skin, so that's a plus. But no, it's definitely a good thing that it's all natural ingredients in these products. Pro number two. They smell great. I don't know about y'all, but when I get something new, I smell it. I smell everything. I don't know why. It's kind of weird sometimes depending on the product, but I feel like when it comes to these, it's like, it's gonna be sitting on your face or at least you're washing your face with it. So having something nice smelling, especially after you're done with it, you know, is always a plus. And the scent, it's not too strong. It's kind of like a, like a neutral, kind of like earthy kind of scent. Um, doesn't really smell too much like cologne, even though it does kind of have that kind of subtle musk, but I feel like women can use this and like it wouldn't be weird because it just smells like a natural fresh scent. Oh yeah, two things I forgot to mention. One, I am not sponsored by Bevel or you know, to make this video or anything like that. I personally bought these products and I've been using them for like the last six and a half months, six plus months, and I just think they're great products. Two. My skin type is more on the oilier side. What? Oily, oilier, is that a word? I don't think that's a word. It's on the oil side, oily side. Wow, I'm really messing this up. It's on the oily side, okay? So I don't really tend to deal with any dryness. Uh, where I live in Florida, it's very hot, so I feel like that makes my skin even more oily. And yeah, that's that. Yeah, so take that information and you know, whatever that means to you, you can base your opinions on that. Pro number three about this line is that they're not that expensive. Yeah, they might be more expensive than your typical drugstore uh, skincare products, but at the same time, it's like we already spoke about how those drugstore products will definitely dry out your face and cause you to break out and all those other issues. So with this one, it's like you might as well spend a little bit more money to go ahead and pay for something that's quality rather than paying several times for something that's trash. But on their website, they usually do run sales from time to time and they have a, a couple of bundles, especially for this one, they have, I think it's called the Skin Essentials Bundle. And so basically they have deals to get these products if you're on a budget. Pro number three, when they say dime size amount, they really mean that. You really do not need that much of this product for it to work especially the face wash because you put a little bit on your finger when your face is wet and you lather it on there this thing will lather forever so you really don't need that much and that's why i think it's a that's a good pro because i've used this bottle for a while and it's been lasting me now for probably about the last four months or so and with the toner too because since you're only using this like twice a week and you're putting it on a cotton pad like you really don't use a lot and uh, just be careful because when you go ahead and pour it. It's not like the gel or the face wash. It comes out kind of quick, so beware of that. All right, so let's switch over to the cons now. So for my frequent flyers, you know, the ones that be catching flights, not feelings. Oh my God, did I really just say that? Anyways, for y'all, these bottles, and I'm looking at them now because I just realized it, but all of these bottles are gonna be over that TSA requirement of three fluid ounces. If you look on the back of all these bottles, they're about four fluid ounces each. Even for like the smaller one, these both are four fluid ounces. So if that's something that, you know, you like to just take your products, throw them in your backpack and go on a plane, you're gonna have to put these in another container. The only one that's gonna be good is the spot corrector because this is only one fluid ounce. Con number two is that sometimes the products themselves can be, you know, manufactured a little bit poorly. So for example, on this toner right here, uh, you see this little silver piece? What happens is that sometimes when you try to screw it off, like the little silver plating comes off, but not the actual top of the bottle. 
So that can get annoying because if you look at the top of this, it kind of has like this glue that can like rub off on your hands while you're trying to wash your face and that's never a good sign. Also, this might not happen to everybody, but when I received this right here, the top of it kind of like opened up like so everything was going to just spill out and you know, I guess this might not be a con since I reached out to Bevel and they sent me over a new one immediately, no questions asked or anything like that. So I just thought I'd mention it because it happened to me. It might not happen to everyone, but it's cool to see that their customer service is so great and they just sent out another product right away. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna go through what I like and what I don't like about each product and then we're gonna wrap this up. So for the face wash, smells good, lathers nicely, doesn't leave my face too dry and that's huge because like I said, I have oily skin and a lot of times the products will overly wash my face and that's never a good time because then your skin is gonna get more oily after the fact. So the fact that it doesn't completely dry out my skin is a plus. Now with the toner, natural smelling, after you use the face wash and you put this on, it gives you like a little tingle, a little burn. Um, that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you like. But to me, it's not bad. To me, it actually kind of feels like, you know, it's working and doing what it's supposed to do to, you know, cleanse the skin. So, cool. And the moisturizing face gel, I love this stuff because if you know, if you have oily skin, you're not supposed to use any heavy creams or anything like that. So having a face gel rather than a face cream makes all the difference. I love this stuff so much. I haven't even gotten a new bottle. This one's pretty much empty. I've been kind of just like milking it until, <laughs> you know, the rest is all gone because I don't know. I like to use everything out of the package. But yeah, so like I love this stuff so much because it goes on your face smooth. It's nice and cool. Um, it doesn't feel heavy and that's another thing that's good about having a face gel over a cream is that it doesn't make your face feel heavy and weighed down right out the shower you know put this on after you're done washing your face or whatever you just feel nice and cool and you know it dries pretty quickly as well now the spot corrector um don't really use too often because i don't really have like a whole bunch of like really really noticeable like dark marks with this, it's like you want to really put it on. It's supposed to even the skin tone in those areas that you do have that hyperpigmentation. And um, I don't really, like I said, I don't really use it every day. But when I do use it, I do notice that whatever I put it on, you know, does get lighter over time. So yeah, man, just a quick little video going over the Bevel skincare line. Once again, I'm not sponsored. I pay for this stuff myself. And if you want to go ahead and pick them up, I will leave a link in the description below as well as the, you know, the different bundles and kits that they have. I'll drop those down there too. So fellas and ladies, if you're watching this, you know, for your man, or if you want to use it, you can. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment, tell me what you like about the product, tell me what you liked about the video, it doesn't matter. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I make those videos and other videos in the future. And with that, Bilou, I'm out.